new lawsuit could rescind your health care benefits. Earlier this month, a three-judge panel in the uh, Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. The, again, just a reminder, the Fifth Circuit is the southeast of the United States, and or is south, I guess it includes Texas. Um, and it's the most right-wing, hardcore right-wing, like, like I think six of the judges on the, sixth, on the Fifth Circuit were appointed by Donald Trump. I mean, that's how, you know, they, they are as hardcore, far to the right as you can get. And uh, so this is what Merrill Gosner wrote uh, for Lever News, uh, you know, uh, David Sirota's newsletter. Uh, this new lawsuit could rescind your health care benefits. Earlier this month, a three-judge panel of the New Orleans-based U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit signaled it will affirm a lower court ruling striking down the Affordable Care Act's requirement that private insurance plans cover preventative services at no cost to patients. Once the Fifth Circuit issues its expected ruling, the Supreme Court will get another chance to strike a grievous, grievous blow to the public's health. So, I mean, this is, the, in fact, they, he's, he goes on to note, if the right-wing arguments prevail, it could call into question the entire structure of what's called the Federal Advisory Committee Act, which governs the appointments and actions of more than 900 committees that provides scientific, technical, and policy advice to virtually every executive branch agency and provide that for the Affordable Care Act, for HHS, for Health and Human Services. There is a panel that decides, you know, what, like, like the law says that if you wanna get a colonoscopy or if you wanna get a breast exam, breast cancer exam, or if you wanted to get, you know, any kind of uh, uh, what is nowadays considered routine, annual, or every couple of years, or whatever, you know, treatment, then, you know, pretty straightforward stuff. All you have to do is just go in and the, the Affordable Care Act will pay for it. Uh, the 16-member U.S. Preventative Services Task Force, whose delegates are appointed to four-year terms by the HHS secretary, um, uh, well, as I was telling you, basically, you know, if, if the, the law, the Affordable Care Act, says that preventative health has to be covered, has to be paid for, by the insurance companies. Whether they want to or not, whether they like it or not, they have to pay for it. No cost to you. But then the question is, well, what's legitimate preventative care? And so somebody has to make that decision. And that's where this panel is created, or was created, has been created. Um, and the name of the panel is the uh, uh, Federal Advisory Committee. Oh, this, that's, the, that's the, I'm sorry, it's the Preventative Services Task Force. It's got 16 members on it, they're all professionals. And they determine what's appropriate for, you know, to require insurance companies to pay for in terms of, you know, monitoring people's health and, and tracking their health, things like that. So in their challenge to Obamacare, I mean, you know, keep in mind, Republicans have been trying to destroy Obamacare ever since it started out. The, the idea that everybody in America can have, you know, reasonable, reasonably priced health care is just anathema to them. I mean, you know, it, it, billionaires, certainly, they have all the health care they want. Uh, you know, rich people have all the health care they want, but average people, you know, they should really scramble to get their health care. They should have to work really hard for it. And they shouldn't be a burden on the system that the billionaires use. So they went after the Affordable Care Act. They went after Obamacare. And the way that they went after Obamacare was to say that the law that created these expert panels that made these decisions about how to implement um, uh, legislation is unconstitutional. And their argument essentially is that if Obamacare wanted people to get colonoscopies, for example, or, or breast cancer, uh, preventative breast cancer x-rays, if they wanted people to get that and have the insurance companies pay for it, the law should have said colonoscopies and breast cancer exams. It shouldn't have said preventative health care, and we'll have a committee determine what that is, an expert committee. Congress should have been the expert committee. Congress should have brought in physicians and experts to testify before them. Congress should have decided exactly, you know, it, it should have decided these medical decisions. These elected officials, who are not doctors, should have been making these medical decisions. This is their argument. And if they succeed with this argument, then it takes down the Environmental Protection Agency, it takes down the Occupational Health and Safety Agency, 
It takes down the Labor Department. I mean, it just takes down basically every protective federal agency, the, the Food and Drug Administration. It takes them all down because they all have these committees of experts who decide how to implement, frankly, relatively vaguely worded laws. And the reason the laws are vaguely worded is because Congress is not an expert. Congress doesn't know, you know, of the 80,000 chemicals in our environment, you know, which ones are dangerous. That's, what, that's for the EPA to figure out. Congress doesn't know what kinds of you know, practices should be employed in, in the, the slaughter and processing of, of meats or the processing of vegetables that, that prevent the disease. That's, that's what the U.S. Department of Agriculture does. Congress shouldn't decide which drugs can and can't you know, be on the market. That's up to the Food and Drug Administration. Congress shouldn't decide exactly which pollutants should be regulated by the EPA. That's up to the EPA. But these right-wingers, you know, for years have been trying to take down these expert panels and trying to force Congress into this uh, position that they say is consistent with originalism, right? This is how the Constitution says Congress makes the law. So Congress should decide, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just saying, get ready. Look out. Because this is coming. And it's, it, it, this, this case is going to be ugly. If this makes its way to the Supreme Court, uh, I don't think it's possible to predict how it's going to play out. <laughs>